my god, it's Brad Pitt! Oh my god! Was that I? Hello, princess! Hi, flower friends! It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and I am so sick and tired of coming from inside the house to you guys. I'm getting bored with it. I know it's only January, and I love this room. I really do. This is my this is my favorite piece of furniture. This is my favorite picture. This is one of the, my most favorite things that I've crocheted, but I want to be outside, and I'm really excited for the season to just start. But this is a little bit of a different kind of video because I'm getting a lot of questions about Brad Pitt. The number of people here on my channel has doubled in the last 30 days, and a lot of you might not know some of the information that I shared earlier in some videos, so I thought I would kind of make this video to kind of bring everybody up to speed. So in all of my videos, I refer to my husband as Brad Pitt. Is that really his name, or is that just some cute nickname that you have for him? And I'm here to tell you that yes, that is my husband's legal name. So Brad and I met in high school. I was going to my freshman orientation as a ninth grader, and uh, he was a senior in high school, and I heard whispers, did you know there was a senior named Brad Pitt? Oh my gosh, that's cool, oh my gosh. So Brad Pitt, the movie star, didn't become famous until my husband was in like middle school, high school, so it was kind of torturous. You know, he would get to school and the People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive Brad Pitt cover would be taped to his locker. There'd be some jokes. It'd be, you know, how high schoolers are. Anyway, it was kind of funny and I didn't really think anything of it. We had the same circle of friends and we ended up being best friends for more than two years. Then we started dating and then he put a ring on it when I was a senior in high school. <laughs> I'm so young, I know. I was 17 years old when I got engaged. He was 19 and uh, we were engaged for seven years before we got married, before everybody freaks out. So I was 24, um, went, well gosh, I'm about to give away my age here and I don't really care. But yeah, so fast forward, we've been married for 16 years. So that's crazy. Yeah, so his name's Brad Pitt. And here are some funny things that have happened over the course of my 22 year, 23 year relationship with Mr. Brad Pitt. One time we were booking a vacation to Niagara Falls. We were going with his parents. It was just a weekend stay and we put the hotel room in his name. We got to the hotel and there was a gaggle of girls in the lobby waiting for Brad Pitt to arrive. <laughs> they were seriously disappointed. On that same trip, we attempted to order a pizza delivery to the hotel. Brad put the order in. They wouldn't deliver the pizza. They thought it was a prank. From then on, everything we ordered was in my name. I'm like gonna cry over this next one, it's hysterical. One time Brad was shopping at Walmart for my grandfather who was picking something up and my grandfather forgot to tell him something. So this was before cell phones. So my grandfather called the store and asked to have Brad Pitt paged over the loudspeaker at Walmart so he could tell him what he forgot. The store refused to do it and my grandfather was so confused he couldn't understand. What do you mean? It's my grandson. I just want him. He's shopping there and I forgot something. He was so angry. He was hysterical. But these are just a number of things that happen when your husband's name is Brad Pitt. I've been called Jennifer for decades and then turned into Angelina and who knows who it is now. Anyway, it's so it's something that we, we deal with, we live with. Most of our close friends just call him Brad, but everybody else just, they call him by his full Brad Pitt. Hey Brad Pitt, hey Brad Pitt, hey Brad Pitt. And it's kind of like a, yeah, yeah, my buddy's name is Brad Pitt or I'm friends with Brad Pitt. Go and hang out at Brad Pitt's house. Brad Pitt came to my birthday party. So it's been, <laughs> it's been a thing. And it was really funny because for most of my career, I was on television. So it was funny that I'm the one on TV and my husband's Brad Pitt. So it was, it was pretty funny. In fact, one of the, <laughs> One of the funniest things that we had to deal with, this was 2015, a local company that my husband's business, now he's not a business, but the company he worked for had a working relationship with another company who hired part-time people called Staffworks. They reached out to my husband and said, hey, can we put you on a billboard? <laughs> so for, I don't know, probably six months or so, my husband's face and Brad Pitt was all over billboards I think it was throughout the Northeast. I know there were some all over New York State and I think a couple out of state as well. So if you saw this billboard, that's my Brad Pitt. What is the most obnoxious part of, of being named Brad Pitt? People asking if that's my name. <laughs> what do you wish your name was? Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite flower? Does it have to be a real one? No. The glass rose downstairs. Aw, you're sweet. 
Brad is referring to like a Beauty and the Beast dome with a rose in it that he got me for Valentine's Day last year. I came down here to find it, but it's in storage. I found the glass dome, but I, I can't find the flower. So hopefully <laughs> I'll be able to find the flower in time to put it on display for Valentine's Day. Another thing that I'm seeing a lot lately is um, I've been talking about some of the freelance work that I do and how I financially support growing the farm with my freelance income. And a lot of you are like, what are you doing? What is your freelance job? You're making guesses, stuff like that. I've talked about some of my freelance jobs in some earlier videos, so I thought I would let you guys know what I was doing because it's not a big deal. Okay, pop quiz. As a freelancer, am I a, a, a ballroom dancer, B, a professional singer, C, an Elvis impersonator, or D, a voiceover professional? If you answered A, sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> I am not a ballroom dancer, but I like to dance. I also like to sing, never professionally. And I also like to impersonate Elvis. It was something that I did in school all the time. I'm not gonna show you that here. Anyway, the answer is D. I do some voiceover work, but that's not the only thing I do. So I'll explain. The cat's here. <laughs> mm. Oh, she does not like being held. So the voiceover part of my freelancing, I have oh, cat hair in my nose. Just with my voice. I actually do voiceover work for corporate videos. So say you are watching your yearly insurance renewal or your uh, mandatory <laughs> viewing of, of some videos for your company. Um, maybe you don't know it, but maybe it's my voice. Your insurance benefits for the 2021 year include, it's stuff like that. So it's in my voice, they, the, comp the corporation that I work for sends me a script, I read the script, edit it onto a slideshow, send it back to them, and they send it out to their clients. So it's, it's a voiceover slash editing production that I put together. So they're sending me slides and a script and I'm sending them back completed videos. And I enjoy doing it because <laughs> I mean, it's basically what I was doing for television, but I'm doing it um, without having to do my face. So it's great. Anyway, those are fun. So that's part of my freelancing job. So it's a professional voice service. And uh, I wish I could do it <laughs> in accents because that's hysterical. But anyway, they haven't asked me for that yet. So the other thing that I do is I do photography, which I don't do a lot of photography. That's mostly friends and family. Uh, occasionally I'll have a company or a local business reach out and ask if I can come take pictures of things, but mostly that's just friends and family. And my video work. I do do a lot of video freelancing where a business or a local st school district, this has happened, a uh, local school district will reach out to me and say, hey, we need to put together a video to release to the public. Can you come? And, and it's not just the filming and the editing. A lot of times I'm helping to brainstorm the concept with those local professionals. So, um, you know, talking to them about how to get their point across and then we figure out, okay, slamming doors in the pit household. Veda's in her bedroom. It's right over there. Lost my train of thought. Oh yes, so I will uh, collaborate with them in order to come up with a concept for a video and then I will shoot the video, edit the video, and then send that back to them in its full form. So that's what I do. I do voiceover, I do editing work, I do photography, and I do videography work. So it's actually, I do have like a Nicole Pitt Productions, it's under that label, um, and that's just, it's like hyper local, except for the, ins the insurance videos are not hyper local, they go um, across state borders, so. So hopefully you have a little bit more of an insight of why I'm calling him Brad Pitt all the time, cause that's his name, legal name. I'm Mrs. Brad Pitt. My mom had the towels embroidered for our wedding. No joke, the cat's meowing. So <laughs> she wants out, I better let her out. Also this weekend, um, my channel went over 10,000 subscribers, which is a little bit shocking since 28 days ago I had 5,000 and five months ago I had 900. So um, it's just things are building a little bit more than ever anticipated. And I just wanna say thank you so much for being here and, and being part of this journey and I can't wait to share everything with you. So thank you, thank you for choosing to be here. I truly appreciate it. I heard, I heard that I was mentioned in the Garden Enter groupie page and I'm sure that had something to do with the influx. I had some people message me and let me know what you guys were saying about me on the Garden Answer page and thank you. Thank you, like I, thank you. I, I never anticipated developing this beautiful flower and garden and just life 
community and I, I really 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 appreciate every single one of you thank you so much for everything that you're giving me because all of your comments all of your likes all of your member my members you're beautiful I love you so much thank you so much for allowing me to do what I love and hopefully for the foreseeable future I can keep doing this for you so thank you every little bit helps thank you so much you beautiful people you're beautiful and this concludes your insurance benefits tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Human Resources. Bye. My hair's still wet, <laughs> snarly. Uh oh.